Hello and welcome to the Sysadmin Tutorials YouTube channel. Before we get started, I want to let you all know that last month we reached 20,000 subscribers and I want to thank you very much for your continued support and for subscribing to my channel. Now in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a PowerCLI script that I've created and it's going to allow you to automate your VMware ESXi installation. First up, we're going to be taking a look at this script on the left hand side. And I'm going to walk you through what we've created here. So in the beginning, we've got like a bit of an introduction to the script. And first up, uh, I've created the main part of the script. And what I've used is William Lamb's set-vm keystrokes function to help me send keystrokes directly into the virtual machine. So this is a nested virtual machine running ESXi in a vCenter environment. If we scroll down a little bit, we can see that we're going to first up connect into vCenter server. So what I'd ask you to do is uh, replace your vCenter server address here with your vCenter server. And then after it's going to use the variable uh, $vCenter server within the script. So the first up here, we can see that it's going to connect to the vCenter server. And if there is an error, it's going to stop the script. The next most important bit are setting your variables. So we've got some variables here, such as using the VLAN, uh, VLAN ID. So if you are setting a VLAN, you need to set use VLAN as yes. And then VLAN ID, you specify your VLAN ID. The virtual machine. So this is the nested virtual machine running VMware ESXi within your vSphere environment. So you would want to change uh, nsx-a-esxi4. So that's the one I've been using for testing. And that's the one that we're going to be actually demonstrating today for you. The IPv4 address is basically your IP address you want to set on your ESXi server. The subnet mask, the default gateway, your primary IP address, sorry, your primary DNS IP address, the host name that you'd like to give to your ESXi server, the DNS suffix, and lastly, the root password you want to be setting onto your ESXi server. So in the first bit here, sorry, in the next bit here, we have our function set VM keystrokes. So created by uh, William Lamb from VMware. And what I've done, I've just made an alteration here um, and I've made one parameter, which is this string input. So I've changed that from being mandatory to just being optional. And then I've introduced another string input, which is this special key input variable. So where do we use each of those? So if we want to use a, if we want to type a word or an IP address or something like that, we would use the string input. And the string input works by looping through each character and sending those characters one by one through to the virtual machine. If we want to use a special function key, such as anywhere between F1 to F12, uh, the escape key, uh, the up arrow, down arrow, left and right, then we would use this special key input. So scrolling down further, we can see the character mappings. And these are basically all the characters that we can use within this script. And we'll get down to our list of function keys. We also have the tab key and then the keyboard up, down, left and right. We have escape key, backspace and enter. So this part still goes through the function and we'll keep scrolling down. Okay, and from this point forward, it's basically sending all the keystrokes through to your virtual machine and that's gonna complete your VMware ESXi installation. So once the installation is complete, it's then going to go through and do your configuration. So set the IP address, subnet mask, gateway, and etc. Now, in this part of the script as well, I've also got some pauses uh, because you have to wait for the virtual machine, for example, to install the operating system. So there's no real check back to say, um, you know, keep checking is the virtual machine or the operating system being installed? No, then wait and so on. So I've just put a manual pause in there for now and you just press enter once the operating system has installed, but you're going to see that in the demonstration. I then entered in some sleeps here throughout the uh, commands. And basically what I noticed where I was running this in the lab was that uh, as I was going through each uh, screenshot, some screenshots 
paused for a little bit or took a little bit longer than others and the script was just running too fast and it just got ahead of itself. So I've added some pauses there, um, sorry, some sleeps and you can go in and change that as you want. Uh, you can make it longer or shorter depending on your environment. And uh, that's about it basically. It goes through, uh, does all the installation, the configuration, and then at the end it tells you that your host is ready. So with that being said, let's minimize this or let's uh, minimize the window. And I've got my PowerShell ISE running here on the left side and I've got my virtual machine running on the right side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start this script off by pressing play. And on the left hand side, you'll see the output in the bottom blue screen there. And then on the right, you're gonna see what's gonna happen in the virtual machine. So I'm gonna click play now. And I'll save this because it looks like I've made some changes before running this video. And here we go. So we're connecting into vCenter. All right, so we're at the first pause screen here. And in this pause screen, it says, check that you are installing the ESXi to the local disk. And if you are, then press enter. If not, you need to go into the virtual machine and select the local disk. Or if you have two local disks there, I don't know, you might want to select that one. Uh, and then press enter on the script and it will continue. So I've only got one disk on this demonstration, so I'm happy to be installing ESXi on that disk. And we'll click into this blue window and press enter. So we're setting the US default for keyboard layout. And you can see that there was a pause there. And so now we're setting the root password for ESXi. And there's another pause. And now we're beginning the installation. So there's a pause here and then it's going to send F11 and that's been done. So the installer, and this is what I was talking about before. So this is going to take some time. So there's a pause in the script here. And uh, if you read the output, it just says once the install is finished, press enter to reboot and complete the installation. Now the other characters that you see in the script, like the string input character V and then HID code, etc. Uh, this is because there's debug turned on on each uh, command line. So if we look here, set VM keystrokes, and then I'll just highlight this dash debug on. So that's why you get that output. Uh, so that's on every single command there. And that was just for my troubleshooting. But if you want, you can turn all them to false and you won't get that output. Okay, our ESXi installation is complete. So we'll head back over to the script and we'll press enter. And it's going to send the enter command through to the ESXi installer. So I'm going to press enter now. So the server is going to shut down and reboot. And as we can see on screen where the script is in red, uh, once the host has rebooted, press enter and it'll begin the ESXi setup. All right, your new installation of ESXi has booted up and as we can see on screen that it has no IP address or any configuration. So this is fresh out of a install. Now back on the script, we're going to press enter and watch the magic happen. So here we've logged in as root. All right, and we're setting the IPv4 address. Now we're going to be disabling IPv6. And we'll set our primary DNS server and host name. And lastly, we'll move on to setting our custom DNS suffix. Now it's going to send the escape character through to the machine and we'll apply changes and reboot. And as you can see on the left hand side, your host is now ready. So we'll wait for ESXi to reboot. All right, ESXi has started up and as we can see, the hostname nsx-a-esxi4 has been set. 
and the IP address 192.168.1.89. So now where can you find this script? In two places. So the first place being my GitHub, where the URL is displayed on screen now. And the second place will be on the blog post that I wrote on my blog. And I'll post that URL up now on screen. So that completes this lab. I hope you've found this extremely useful and you can spin up many labs with this script and it'll hopefully take you much less time than entering all that information in manually. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and uh, we'll continue to bring you some new videos very shortly. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you in our next video.